Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing on with our Pi game series. And today we're going to look at how to pause the game. So alright, this is where we left off last time. We have a game, uh, we have some boulders, we're getting closer, we're going to turn our green block into a tank next time. But right now, all we have is a way to exit. So we need to figure out how to pause it because we really need to show a couple other flaws. So all right, let's go into the activity of the game so we can really understand. So, all right, this is where the sprites are, because you can do this numerous ways. I'm gonna show you the most uh, structured way to control the loops that we know how. We can do it a bunch of ways, but I'm going to show you the skills that we have that we can adapt to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this event loop and we're going to move it to the top. But I want you to understand why we're moving it to the top. So this win update, we could, we could do that. We could pause this, but that would stop our whole window. So we could pause it, but we couldn't unpause it. So you could put a condition loop right here and test it, but this is what we're, this is where we're going to start. We're going to go paused, and we're going to set this to false. All right. So if we were to come, so our sprites, we could update our, we could pause our sprites. We could group our two sprites: our tank, our green block, and our rocks. But the the dilemma with that. <clears throat> is right here our new blocks our our new rocks at the top would keep generating so this is what we're going to do this was intentional because this is how i had to learn when i was doing it so we're actually going to take this cut it and move it all the way to the top so i'll explain why so right here this is constantly the event to remind you this is constantly looking for input. So this is why we're moving it to the top. This is how simple we're going to keep this. And then we're going to stop it here. So we're going to use our continue. So we're going to constantly come down here, check and see if this is paused. And if it's paused, kick it right back up here. Then look for more input. So we don't have to worry about handling this down here because what's, what's happening, what's generating is new blocks are generated here and then the sprites are being updated here and here and then the window is constantly cycling so if we stay right here we just go back and forth and if it's paused we allow it to go by so all right let's just jump into it so there there's the quick explanation of it so we'll do an elif and then, so we're taking an event type, event type. And then we're checking if a key's down. We're just going to use the, the P button. We're going to keep this real, real simple. Key down. And then, uh, sorry, if event key down event key equals then pi game dot k underscore p underscore p then we're going to change paused now we need to look at this for a second so this is a perfect example look last time or a couple times ago we counted uh rope behavior to see if we had a loop. Well, I'm going to show you another way to do this. So if I do K or X true, then I'm going to reassign it. So each time through, not X. False. Then we'll do this again. Should have done this before. Not X. X again. So right here, so we declared it at first 
then equals not pause. So just like here, what you're doing is each time the P is pressed, it's kicking here and it's either going true or false. Paused, not paused, paused, not paused. All right, so now that literally handles the event. Now we need to handle our loop right here. So this is, this is as simple as, as it is. If paused equals true, continue. So basically, if paused is true, come back up here. True, come back up here. So each time through our 30 ticks per second, 30 frames per second, it's just sitting here until it reads paused again. So then we just need to change this to LF. Oop, LF. It's literally that simple. All right, so we'll go through this one more time. Let's run it and show. P, 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 P. So now I also want to show you a, let me make sure it's, this is in frame. Nope. So all right, I want you to look at that. Aha. So now we're starting to see some, a little couple flaws that we need to deal with. Let's move this up. There we go. So okay. So we have a couple things with our image that we need to solve along with a hitbox. And we're going to work on that. But this is a perfect feeder to handle that. So all right, let's go over this one more time. So we moved our event loop to the top. All right. And the reason why we're doing this is because we have three activities. We have the sprites being completed, excuse me, created, then the sprites being updated. So we can handle this all at one time and use the tools that we have. We moved our event loop to the top. It's constantly checking for P to be pressed. We're moving our paused boolean back and forth with not paused and this test before anything. So that's how we controlled this with the skills that we have. You can do this with object-oriented programming. You could do this with functional programming. We did this, did, did this with loop control with what we had. So we moved our event loop to the very top, added an event type, key down, and then all we did was change our block creation to an LF, and the first thing we test to see if the game is paused. If it's paused, it goes straight up to the top, has no chance of doing anything else. This is the simplest, cleanest way, and this is what we do. Simple, clean, clear, explicit. The most Pythonic ways possible. So, please, 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 if I have any gaps in here or something that you didn't quite get, because now we're getting really complicated and we're going to start messing with these images really soon. So please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests below, and I'll get right to them. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.